networking, you might encounter a number of different types of networkers. There are takers, there are givers, and there's something in between. Let's take a look at the different types of networkers that you're going to run into when you're networking and how to effectively deal with them. So Natalie, I know you mentioned that you've had some struggles um, with some people just kind of running you around that you're meeting for networking meetings. What's been going on? Right. Well, I have these meetings and I, it takes time to get there and then I go there and I spend an hour and I feel like nothing comes out of it. Okay. Well, let me just kind of take you through the, the, the different types of networkers you're probably running into and, and how to better qualify who you're meeting with and maybe spending more time with. So the first type of networker is the taker, right? And the taker is just someone who's there to sell you. They're there to just try to poach your, your contacts, your referrals. Like they're not interested in helping you at all. They're just there to hit a quota. They're just there to get what they can. Have you run into people like that before? I have. Yeah. So we're going to really focus on trying to qualify those people at an event or on the phone before actually investing time with them okay. for a coffee. So that we can get rid of that right away. Mm, okay. That's good. The second one is the tricky one. It's the apparent giver. The apparent giver is the person who says all the right things, they seem qualified, they've got a good network, and they promise they're going to do a bunch of things, but then they really don't follow through. And it's not that they're bad people, they just don't have good follow-through skills or they commit to things, they just don't know how to keep the commitment. Have you run into that as well? I have. I think I'm meeting a lot of those kinds of people where it seems like it's a good fit, but then it doesn't, yeah. nothing comes and of it, it. And in some cases we give those people, you know, one chance, two chance, three chances, and it just ends up leading nowhere. So we really want to be critical of the apparent giver who seems to be saying the right things but really isn't following through. Okay. The one that we're really searching for is the real giver, the true giver. And this is someone who really wants to help you. They're able to give you contacts fairly quickly mm -hmm. that are valuable to you and you're able to give them valuable contacts. They follow through and you just feel like you could have a long-term relationship with that person. Okay. So it is a process of meeting that person talking to them on the phone, having a coffee, and really analyzing which category they fall into and trying to minimize the amount of wasted time with the wrong type of networker. Is that something you can really focus on and work on the next couple weeks? Yes, I think after you having described some of those traits, I'll have a better eye when I'm talking with someone about you know, which one are they and what's most useful for me. Okay, I think that'll really be helpful. And again, you'll, you'll be able to spend the right time with the right people.